What's going on everybody? In this video, we're going to be showing you how to make a second account and what happens when you do. Uh, right now I'm on my main account in my underneath my arcade where we have my master heist set up, the master computer here. We have 11.5 mil in the account and we are just about level 128 we're gonna be level 127 when we do all this um, take the map again show you that we have some properties and whatnot oh, everything's uh, pretty crowded at the time right now but yeah we got a couple garages Warehouse. We got. It says Rivals Nightclub, so we got Nightclub. We got. We got just about everything in this game, besides the yacht. Which, you know, is just a bit excessive. So. But that all being said, in order to create your second character, you'd have to go down to this tab here which will be manage characters or swap characters if you already have to and then this tab says you know, manage your GTA online character you can rename or delete your existing characters or create a new one and then it says you can have up to two characters in GTA online so what we're gonna want to do is click that and it says are you sure you want to quit yes All right, now this process is a little, a little sketch. They should have simplified it a little bit, but it tells you there again at the top. Create a new character or overwrite an existing one. Get a one-time bonus of four million GTA cash to kickstart your criminal career or continue with an existing character. And that would basically just continue the game we were in. Whereas this right here, where it says available slot, it says create a new character. Uh, you can create a new character. It says in the pause menu. That's true, but it'll cost you 100000 It's not really um, creating a new character. It's just um, changing the face. Maybe you can change the gender I'm not too sure but so that's character one so we want to go up here where it says create a new character it says you are about to save this character to an empty slot are you sure you want to proceed yes let me get this cutscene here Four million has been awarded to us. You have been awarded, yep, four million to kickstart your criminal empire. And now we get our choice between four careers. So we got the executive, the gun runner, nightclub, and the biker. <laughs> Which is funny because you definitely don't have to be a biker at all, really. But that's what they went with. Um, and the GTA story makes sense if you've played any of the games in the past. But so, in executive, we got lead a skyscraping criminal empire, employ other players as bodyguards, and fund your lifestyle by trading contraband. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And then for gun runner. We got make a fortune in the illegal arms trade, manufacturing military grade weapons from your underground bunker. Uh, 
Um, so we'd get the bunker for this one. Obviously, we'd get the nightclub with the nightclub owner. And it says, open a nightclub and turn it into the hottest party in town. While managing it. Your shadier sources from the underground. That only really um, works like that. If you have this one set up as well. Which is the biker. Which is form a motorcycle club with up to seven other players hit the road carry out deadly contracts and run black market businesses the black market businesses is what they're talking about um, running underneath your nightclub and there's also there's a ton of businesses in this game that you can get as well um, but these are the four career paths in the game and you can do all you can get all four of these but you can only choose one to start when you are either starting fresh or creating a second account um, I've never created a second account so we get to start fresh on the second one um, with this guy uh, already turned my first guy into Jesse so we're gonna be making Heisenberg with this guy so I'm definitely thinking we're gonna be going with the black market route because then we can get into the blue stuff and start selling that and making money just like he did in the show so um, pretty sure once we pick it it's final right I can't just back out and check all these can we Or you will be returned to the creator selection screen. Okay, okay, so we can back out. Alright, so obviously for the biker, we get to pick a clubhouse. They all vary in different prices. Oh, some of them even come with stuff included, okay. So that's cool. This one's just a basic garage. Oh. I see. Some spots only have one option. This one has two. That's kind of cool. Yeah, they either come with a custom bike shop or a gun lockup. And then you get to pick your business. I think we all know what business we're gonna pick here. Oh man, but then they get expensive, huh, don't they? But, um, in this, like it says, it gives us four mil. We are required to spend at least three million. You have to spend at least three in order to um, leave this page. And then, as you can see by some of the options that we're given, it's not going to be too hard to spend all that money. Um, okay. So it's not just all bikes in the biker, so that's good to know. Get some supercars thrown in there, a couple armored vehicles as well. Not bad, not bad. And we get our choices of weapons. So we get, yeah, you get one choice of each. Get a clubhouse, a business, a vehicle, one weapon to start. I wonder, how far do we, um, oh. Like, I'm pretty sure we still get the uh, starting pistol. But I don't think that's... It's just a heavy pistol, I guess. There are a lot of choices, though. And in the summary, the executive, and it will go back in order. The executive, and it will go back in order. 
Okay, so with the uh, executive, we get the business center, which is the office. Okay. This is one of the um, properties I completely forgot about when I hopped back into the game after not playing for a while. I forgot completely all about this property and even what it did. This is the first route you can go. Um, first, you got to pick an office and then if you want to upgrade it or not. You only get two options though. And then you get two building options and then two. Oh no. I forgot about Maze. Now Maze Bank West has just got so many options to it. Never mind. So you don't get as many options with the executive. Uh, and then for you get a warehouse as well. Because you get more options here. And then, oh, the vehicles are different. Okay. So that's good to know. <laughs> okay. Maybe, um... Yeah, I take that back. Maybe they just reorganized them, it looks like. Looks like they have the same selection. Although I don't, I don't remember seeing this van. I could be wrong about that. But other than that, I think this van is the only thing. Oh, cancel. We haven't. Oh, and they do get different weapon selections too. Because the homing rocket was definitely not an option. That's probably a good uh, choice. It's definitely way better firearms than this one, which makes sense. Get pipe bombs, sticky bombs. And a fancy dagger. Nice. I mean, for firepower options, the executives got, got it going. Go back out. I might, you know, then again, the gun runner, you would think would have all the best weapons, right? Get your choice with the bunkers. Which I was going to say, yeah, it looks like you get your choice of every bunker. None of them are upgraded. Oh, you get to pick the upgrade yourself. That's kind of cool. Got pack A, comes with equipment and then personal quarters, which I recommend for any property you get, because then you can just spawn at it. This one comes with shooting range, gun quarters, personal quarters, and two caddies. Wow, that's not bad for the price. Considering this just comes with two, this thing comes with like four. This comes with the shooting range, gun locker, personal quarters, and one caddy. Comes with the upgrades for the staff, and then a personal quarters. This comes with a mobile operations center. Which is needed to upgrade certain vehicles. And then I guess you could just add certain upgrades yourself. So you could definitely uh, custom. There's more customization with upgrading the gun runner. And yeah, their vehicles make sense that they're more on the war cash side. Definitely more um, <laughs> armored militarized vehicles than this one. Got an anti aircraft trailer. Mounted gun, the armored night shark, super James Bond car, you know, 
It's got the secret agent weapons mounted in the headlights. Or I guess you could just get a quote-unquote armored dune buggy. I don't know how armored that thing is. Got the, this one seems to be on every page. And these just seem to be standard cars down here. Yep, bikes. Oh, you get you can choose to drag. That's new. I don't know if the uh It makes sense to be in a clubhouse. We'll check that out when we select it, but Man, I'm not even sure some of these cars if you can even get in the store online. And then for weapons, oh, he gets the homing launcher as well. As I figured, I figured the gun runner would have some of the best weapons. I'm surprised they don't get like the um, like standard RPG or grenade launcher. I think they all get the bombs. Of some selections of different kinds of pistols, SMGs. I want to say you get like a selection of one of each type of category. And finally we get the nightclub owner. And yeah, this one's also going to see, like you pick a location, then you pick the upgrades. I guess that's good. It's better than only having two options and picking an upgrade from there. Oh, that's cool. They all have uh, different themes per logo. I like that. Whereas normally when you purchase it, you got to do all this stuff separately. You got a lot of options too. I don't remember there being this many. And yeah, that's usually the uh, the standard one. Vehicles. Oh, all right. You get the terabyte as an option. Stretched limo. This is probably gonna have some fancy cars in it as well. Delivery truck for your nightclub warehouse. Okay. I guess that makes sense. A lot of delivery options. Yeah, it comes with the van. More armored options. Now we get into the supercars. I guess this is the fastest bike in the games. So this um a bad choice and then yeah I want to say these supercars have been around nightclub owner does not get the launcher does get a lot more rifle options it looks like though all in all not bad but uh, you're not really going to make too much money off the nightclub without everything else. I guess same could be said really about any of these. But Character wise we'll go with the biker. Build off of that. Um... Do any of these come with the uh, personal quarters or no? I'm not seeing it. 
We, oh, this one's probably the cheapest. <laughs> right on the beach, huh? Not really discrete location. Um. These all seem to be in the middle of the city. Can we go? Yeah, this one seems to be out towards the desert. I think that's our prime location right there. So that's about half a million down. We obviously know where we're going here. Oh, we just passed it, didn't we? Yeah, we're gonna get the upgrade. <laughs> okay. Oh, that made us broke. All right. Um. Well, Walt don't need nothing fancy, that's for sure. That being said, what is the cheapest vehicle? Probably that. That's going to be our ride. Yeah, that's going to be it. We do get to keep whatever we don't spend, but... All our money is shared with our other account, so it's not like we're going to be completely broke either. Um, pretty sure we do start with a weapon, so I'm not too worried about not getting a weapon. That being said, is there anything that... Um, pro oh, the proximity mines... Mm. Dang, I wasn't expecting a pool cue to be so expensive. So, um... I guess I'll go with this SMG. Oh, we're gonna... Yep, I was gonna say, we're under. Total spent, 2.3. Okay. So we're actually gonna have to get a vehicle. Now these are all bikes yeah definitely not getting a bike all right well they don't have exactly what i'm looking for but that's fine I think this is our car right here. Mm. 
man. It's still... Oh, you can only add one. Man, they're really driving a hard bargain here. We're gonna have to get a more expensive car then. Well, I mean, I. I guess we might have to go with that. Oh, we don't even have enough for that. What am I talking about? It's crazy that they're making me spend all this. I need to find something that's a lot in here. Oh, I can? It's, so the vehicles are the only thing you can... Oh no, you can choose more multiple guns too. That's good to know. Alright, we can work with that. So... Probably gonna. Oh my. Still got money to spend. Alright. Are they gonna let us go with that? No. Okay, we still gotta spend at least 2,000. Wow. Um. Let's remove that. We'll get something. It's a rifle, it's an SMG. We already have a, okay, grenade launcher, sniper rifle. Launch grenades, pistol. Boom. Alright, I think that should do it, right? I forgot what car we selected. Do we get the armored one? Yeah. Makes sense. Why not? Just making sure everything is good. And yes. All right. Once you're over three mil, it lets you go. Total remaining would be 900k. Hit continue.